today we have Kumud Jindal. She is All India Rank 6 Electronics and Telecommunication Engineering and in Indian Engineering Services. Welcome you Kumud. Thank you ma'am. And lots of congratulations Kumud. Thank you so much ma'am. Personally Kumud when I see uh, women achievers that too in technical field I really feel very great because there is a gender stereotype in our society yes. and women mm -hmm. achievers from technical field yes you are an example. Again, congratulations, Kumud. Thank you. Uh, Kumud has been our student of Made Easy. Uh, she has been our classroom student in weekend batch in 2016 and 17 session. Yes. Then uh, she has been a rank. She has been a student in rank improvement batch also in 2017 and 18. Yes. And then she has joined our online test series also. And then mains batch also you have joined yes. for uh, mains, preparation. mains preparation batch and finally interview guidance program. Yes, so all in all you have been you uh, have been associated with Made Easy throughout my journey. Throughout your journey you have been associated with Made Easy yes, group. Okay. So Kumut, tell us something about yourself. You are from Uttarakhand. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Tell us something about uh, your schooling. Briefly, very briefly about your schooling, your college, and then this journey. Yes, ma'am. Actually, my father is in the army, mm -hmm. so I've, I'm an I'm an army student. Okay. So I I don't have a schooling from one particular yes. place. I've been changing places. So uh, I've been to many places. Like I've studied in Ambala, Jammu, mm. Roorkee, Dehradun, and Assam, and yeah. then finally. Bharat I, Darshan kiya hai. Anji, Anji, <laughs> okay. And then finally, I did my B.Tech from NIT Hamirpur, Himachal mm -hmm. Pradesh. And then, then I after that, after completing my graduation, I joined a company called Semtel Avionics, and I worked there for around 10, 11 months, mm -hmm. along with the weekend batch here. Okay. So I was okay. working there as a hardware engineer. Mm -hmm. And then after, but actually I wanted to do ES, so I was not able to cope up mm -hmm. with the preparation and my job. Mm -hmm. So finally, I decided to leave my job, and then I just decided to full time prepare for engineering services because that was my goal since since beginning. Mm -hmm. So I left my job, and then I started to prepare. And then, with God's grace, uh, today I am here. Kumud, uh, you were working, and uh, at the same time, you were also doing your weekend batch. Yes. So, how is it? Uh, is it difficult to do this two things simultaneously? Yes, ma'am. It is very difficult. Like, I was not able to give any time for self-study. Mm -hmm. During that time, I appeared and I could not even clear the prelims mm -hmm. during mm -hmm. 2017 because mm -hmm. of because I could not cope up with the studies. Mm -hmm. So, that is why I decided to leave Need my job. job. Yes, okay. And Kumud, uh, you said like from the very beginning, it was engineering services. Why engineering services? Ma what was the motivation? Why not army? Because you are from army background. Yes, ma'am. Army. Actually, I I was I'm an engineer, so I like engineering. Okay. I mean, I like all the engineering subjects. Electronics, I like like most of my classmates, batchmates. They went for IT placements, mm -hmm. IT jobs, but I was never very inclined to go towards the IT field. Mm -hmm. I was very much inclined towards electronics. I was the last one in my batch to get placed because mm -hmm. I wanted to go in an electronics uh, company, mm -hmm. and so that is why I always wanted to work in this field only. Mm -hmm. So and um, also engineering services is it is a very prestigious thing mm -hmm. there are like we have IAS and mm -hmm. there are many or more prestigious jobs but uh, I want to work in the engineering field only so that is why I would like to continue here good to see such dedicated engineers <laughs> yeah okay uh, Kumut tell us how did you prepare for your prelims? prelims because prelims it is said that prelims is a very dicey stage yeah, so many people are appearing and it's a very dicey stage. So what, what was your strategy for prelims? Okay. Um, I left my job in March 2017 mm -hmm. and till January 2017 was the, uh, 2018 was the exam. Mm -hmm. So there is around 7-8 months, roughly 7-8 months. Mm -hmm. I started my preparation, the wholehearted preparation in June. Mm -hmm. June 2017 mm -hmm. and after that that I made a full thorough plan on mm -hmm. how I have to prepare yes. and then um, I stuck to that plan that is the foremost and most important thing I, I could support. you just briefly share your plan because uh, you stuck to that plan so <laughs> uh, uh, what was your plan like First of all, ma'am, we need to target on our weak areas. Like mm -hmm. I had already appeared once and I knew that I was weak in many. There are subjects in which we are weak, which we had not studied when we should have. 
so first we need to target uh, our weak areas we need to ident the first thing is that we should be honest to ourselves yes first thing is. is that we should be honest to ourselves we should know where we are weak and where we are strong yes. unless and until we know our weaknesses we will never be able to cope up yes so uh, f- uh, i think we need to uh, sh- uh, look upon our weak areas and then we need to dedicate more time to the weak areas and we c- and then uh s- slowly and steadily we need to work we need to be consistent and persistent throughout the 6 months mm-hmm. there will be times when we will be like we will get demotivated yes. we will be like feel we will feel stuck up that yes. where what decision we think we think that we have taken a wrong decision many times in the test series also when you yeah. get low marks you feel yes. very demotivated yeah, yes exactly. yes so those are the times when we are we get do, we don't need to give up that is the only thing we just need to continue and then have faith in god mm-hmm. and and your parents yes yes kumar you are right first thing for any competition any competition in life is your self confidence right and right. second thing that you have talked about is your swot analysis one has right. to look for one strength weaknesses opportunities and threats yes yes so you did a swot analysis and based on that you made your planning for prelims yes, so after qualifying prelims what was the strategy for the mains um i think mains is the most difficult uh, of all the three mm-hmm. and because we have less time and we have a lot to study mm-hmm. so mains is like totally a different game from mm-hmm. prelims so we need to start a fresh mm-hmm. the the thing which i would like to say for mains is that um, we need to be thorough Thorough. we need yes. to be thorough with everything mm-hmm. we cannot leave even a single single topic mm-hmm. we need to be thorough with everything and uh, we should the test series the order test series should be given very uh, sincerely and if possible not on not just the study material that is good good but i think we should go through books as well textbooks are really very useful d- during mains okay so that i would like to say for mains Okay. Yes. So after mains comes your interview. Yes ma'am. So you said mains was the most difficult. So interview was not that a uh, difficult uh, thing for you. No ma'am actually interview I I I have I'm I fear interviews. Okay. So <laughs> I think this is the first interview in ES 2018 was the first interview of my life which I could uh, say that it was it g- went well. Okay. <laughs> Before that I was not I'm not good with Even interviews. Even for your job also you might have uh, Yeah, given I had some, given that but time. That's but that's a very different. That is a different yeah. Okay. So what Before was Before that I gave a through interview. Uh-huh. I was miserable there. Okay. So that So was how did you find it uh, this interview panel and what was your preparation this time for interview? when i got the mains result i was totally blank what to do i did not know anything uh-huh. because this this was my first attempt for interview mm-hmm. so i joined the interview guidance program here and then slowly i knew get got to know what to study where mm-hmm. to study from mm-hmm. so i followed whatever was told like from by bising sir and rupa ma'am had taken classes then mm-hmm. technical classes we had Mm-hmm. so uh, i followed that and along with that uh, we need to have general awareness mm-hmm. that is that cannot be learned in like 10 days or 20 days, days. Yes. so that is like a basic knowledge and basic common sense is required for the interview uh, one a newspaper at least a day that is yeah. where you can gather this general awareness yeah, yes, yeah? so uh, who was the chairman of your board do you remember Yes ma'am air marshal bosle sir bosle sir yes, so ma'am. how was it the board was cordial yes ma'am very i think there was one person i think he was the psychiatrist or i don't know he was trying to like like kind of confuse me <laughs> but i kept my calm there he was checking your determination yeah. he might be checking your determination yeah i yes. think he might be the psychiatrist there okay sorry i'm so sorry psychologist psychologist I'm, yes yeah. okay so So overall you have a very good experience of UPSC board interview board yes ma'am yeah okay good. so uh, from your uh, prelims to mains to interview and now final selection so do you have any future plans apart from engineering service or you will stick to your engineering services because generally it is uh, seen that many students once they qualify they start preparation for the next level that is administrative services so do you have any plans for that Uh, no ma'am i don't want to go for administrative services i i will be working in the engineering services only and uh, i think i will work like some f- i'll i like to do something for the society as well okay. so i will dedicate my l- leftover time for that so i have a little different plans uh, born engineer <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay 
डू यू वॉन्ट टू से समथिंग टू द फ्यूचर एस्पिरेंस यस मैम आई वुड लाइक टू से everybody i would like to say uh, say that please do not give up do not lose your determination work hard and i am telling you trust me it is not that difficult you can do it seriously trust me i i am also one of you i did not know anything about engineering services during btech i had not studied anything mm-hmm. but yes you can do it with your determination and hard work and with your trust in god you can do it uh kumud one last question uh it's like all your hard work your determination everything has been there but apart from this uh, what do you think were the other factors that have uh taken you to this heights ma'am it is my support of my parents and my friends mm-hmm. i think b- without that i would not been able to do anything mm-hmm. because parents are like they are the guiding f- guiding light mm-hmm. whenever i used to feel low anything any problem just just they are just a call away mm-hmm. and then they are always there for us mm-hmm. whenever we need them mm-hmm. and uh, f- same is for friends mm-hmm. so i think they are the like they are the emotional support is very important yes, during this time yes emotional support is very very important yes, okay so all the best kumud thank you so much and uh, welcoming and uh, wishing a born engineer and that to a girl in indian society is giving me immense pressure we wish you all the best for all your future endeavors thank you so much ma'am it's a very it's a pleasure to be here thank you so much thank you.